Wow, is the market in an uptrend, ladies and gentlemen? I mentioned my follow through day system said the market was in an uptrend and it looks like it's in an uptrend. So welcome to Altcoin Buzz Trading. My name is Randy. Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, Solana, Cardano, AVAX, Caspa, and Filecoin. So let's get right to it. So yesterday, uh, after the show, there was a what I call a kerfuffle or a big shakeout or a washout or whatever you want to call it, a whipsaw in the market. It permeated through pretty much all the tokens yesterday. And, but we've been pretty solid after that. BTC, though, we're still in the range from this whipsaw. The bottom is holding. The top is holding. Ideally, we'll be able to break out through the top at some point. But you can see that it is being resistance at the moment. Uh, volume aggregation tool here looks amazing. Um, overall, this actually went to the buyers, although I don't think it should have. So th this may, may not be as um, this particular tool at this moment may not be as bullish as it looks. We're probably at about this same level here in terms of actual buying pressure but we'll see about that you, you can see that a, a few candles later this still was curling up and then going flat and the sellers are rolling over so we still do have good buying pressure i'm not saying we don't things are looking good um, but the higher we go the more likely we are to pull back or have a um, a small consolidation of some type and i mentioned yesterday my, my measured moves we blew through the first one hit the second one and we're still playing with the second one so things are looking great for btc uh, I really like this, but hitting those measured move targets are a little bit of a yellow flag. It implies that the buying pressure um, may have already kind of come to full fruition. But the good thing is that look at the actual volume on the chart. It's higher than this volume over here. So maybe our measured moves are a thing of the past and we'll actually get bigger move this time around. I'm not putting that, um, you know, I'm saying that's possible. So... I like this action. We we end up going past the 64,054 candle, whatever high this was right there, 64,001. We go past that 64,001 candle and we could easily see 70,000, I think. Um, things are looking really good. We're getting into some rarefied air. If we look back at the old price history, we are in only a few wicks from all-time highs. So this was November of 2021. That was a long time ago. It was like two years and three, two years, almost four months ago. Um, there will be still some people that hold BTC from these levels. Probably not too many though, since it was so long ago. By now, most people would have sold. The The typical time frame is a year. So if it's within a year, um, it's called overhead supply. But because this is well past a year, I'm hoping it doesn't come into account that much it's more psychological than actual supply issues people may sell up here to take profits due to the fact we're getting up here towards that 69,000 level but it, the, the way this is going there's a possibility we could break uh and start going up because a lot of people think we won't they'll probably think we stall and i don't really look at any social media or any news or anything like that so i don't know what they are saying but whatever they're saying they're probably wrong about it so that's BTC. All right, next up is Solana, uh, which finally got going through our 1251, through the actual horizontal cup and handle technical breakout level and doing excellent. Volume aggregation tool on my two-hour time frame looking excellent. Um, volume on the daily looking excellent. And uh, what else? What else is looking excellent? Everything is looking excellent for Solana. Finally breaking out. Uh, very solid breakout too. Look at yesterday's volume. That's well over 100% over average volume. Uh, it's probably 150% over average volume. Today's will probably be 200% over average volume. And as long as we stay solidly green today, it'll be an amazing candle. This thing could be going back towards all-time highs. I think everyone's been looking for that. Um, and look at all these alerts I've had on this name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we had one here that I deleted. So almost all of these have worked, almost all of them. Just a beautiful, beautiful name and a beautiful chart. And pretty close to that all-time high, about 100% away. Um, what will happen when we get up here? Nobody knows. Don't let anybody fool you. They don't know. But um, you know what? That's tomorrow's problem. Today's problem is how to buy more Solana. So <laughs> that's pretty much where we're at. If you don't have your fill of Solana, it's an interesting problem to have. You could try to find uh, some, some decent stop losses under some of these consolidations. And that's really the best place to put them. This one is declining at an angle, so it's harder to find a low because it may not be printed yet. You could find yourself in a channel situation, but whenever we break this upper line, you can put your stop wherever the low was prior to that. That will be a good place to put the stop, even though we are extended 
uh, you would expect this to continue rallying and you want to try to have as large of a position as you can get in a high quality name like Solana. Next up is Cardano, which is uh, doing really well, a little bit a little bit better than I thought it was going to be doing here, but through a breakout of 64.13, um, we had this on the channel a while ago. Wasn't last week though, so I don't remember exactly when I had it on here, but 64.13, uh, great volume the past couple of days. Actually, volume increasing. You see the average volume in orange here is increasing, so that's great for any name, uh, this one as well. R size a little bit extended, but R size can get very extended during very good trends, so hopefully this one just continues. Uh, AVAX stalling at the 4375, but AVAX has a history of going a little bit later. So don't take this off of your watch list. This is a pretty good buy point. Um, if you if you got this earlier today on the breakout, a little bit disheartening, but your, your better stop should be down here at about the 4095 level. Uh, maybe even a little lower than that if you want to, which is which is a full eight seven and a half to eight percent, which is not bad. That's manageable. Low volume pullback right here. Even though the VA tool is showing that the buyers have drifted away, that's fine. The sellers aren't coming in in mass, so uh, ideally we will hold up some of those lows and then eventually have the breakout in AVAX. Caspa, one we've been we've been watching here on this channel. I think this is a an excellent setup. It's looking like. Uh, some type of an ascending base pattern. You can Google that, looking like an ascending base. So this breakout will go up. We may have another consolidation that would make it an ascending base, smaller consolidation, then a big breakout. So, but Caspa's in a great spot, all time highs and not backing away. And then Filecoin, we've been watching Filecoin and it looks like it's getting its mojo back a little bit here. Um, so through the declining trend line here, we did have the shakeout yesterday, but good volume today. VA tool taking a stark, change in direction sellers are eroding away buyers are very aggressive and i'm hoping that that we're done and we'll finally start moving out of this great volume signature right here so this is still a viable situation um your stop can't be that low so you probably have to come in where the buying pressure came in so you're looking at about an eight and a half percent stop loss a little wider than you'd like so maybe make it just as make 80 percent of your normal position size so if you normally trade with a thousand bucks trade with 800 bucks and then that, that'll be a, a very manageable stop loss. Still get a profit if this rallies through. But I think this is in a good spot. All in all, all across this market, there's a lot of opportunity. So you don't only have to trade the tokens that I show you, obviously, but the tenants that I show you are what's important. And you should be able to take some of these tenants and move them to other tokens and trade them appropriately. Find good stop losses, look for good price action, and uh, able to, to profit from that perspective. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow on Altcoin Buzz Trading.